Hello everyone. In this episode of uh, C++ Tricks, I'm redoing the first video I did because uh, I realized I did it wrong after uh, a little bit of analysis and getting a comment about it. And yeah, you're totally right. That is not the best way to get the path. And it's something I kind of already knew, but had, I guess, apparently decided to forget and go with a weird other way. So the way you should be using if you want to path to your assets or something for your project is with file system. Uh, while using the underscore underscore path method does work in a lot of situations, it is completely depends on your uh, preprocessor of your compiler. So the results could vary. And that old way was, uh, it was something like this. It was just string uh, a path a equals file. So that way we'll get you the path to uh, this C++ file. But uh, if you're just, I don't know, packaging everything up and shipping it out, then you're not necessarily going to have the source code with it. And... Uh, who knows what this is going to be or if it will work at all in a with a binary so that's kind of an unreliable method might be okay for testing and uh, you know internal stuff but yeah you don't want that in your code in the long run c plus plus 17 implemented uh standard file system path and there's a lot of examples of this online but this came from the boost library and originated uh back in like i think 2003 so this has been around for a really long time in the Boost library, and I've actually used it before from the Boost library, and uh, didn't even realize that it got put in C++ 17. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, this is something that definitely developers should be aware of. So the better way to do it would to give it a path from where your binary builds or ships from. So, for example, if I look at uh, my project here and just go to, I'm just using this as an example. Your project could be different, but you could use the same code here from this function and essentially do the same thing. So if I go to my uh, project here, I'll just show you kind of what it will do. So this will give me the path. Uh, let's see here. When I build, I'm going into releases. And then here it is. So this is my application. And from here, yeah, I would go back a directory and then into assets. So that's where this comes from, back a directory and into assets. And that way you can get the path. And this, you know, in a lot of ways can be, this path can be changed into a string if you need to with just a dot, adding a dot string to it. So, for example, if I wanted to get the uh, length of this, I could get the uh, length of the string by doing a dot string dot size. Not necessarily something you need to do, but uh, you should just know that, yeah, turning it into a string is very easy. And if you want to get, um, you know, all the objects in the file, all the... Uh, all the files in that folder in that path you can basically do something like this you take that you take that file name path there it is I'm just doing it in a function here uh, and you can just loop through it with a standard file system iterator on that path with a const auto and call entry whatever you want and uh, entry will be a path another path to each file in that folder and so from there you could check on them and uh, do what you want so for example you could just see what they are with a simple c out of entry okay so yeah we have to do dot path on the entry to go a little deeper then as you'll see it uh, does spit all those out for everything it finds in that folder Okay, so that's pretty much it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first episode of C++ Tricks. Let me know what other sort of tricks you think other people might want to know for the next episode. Uh, otherwise, I'll just come up with something I think is useful and to make it the second episode. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.